Hey, it's Sovereign Student here, and today we're going to talk about paints inside JavaFX and Scene Builder. So, if you haven't got the program running with JavaFX by now, there would be a link in the description. Just get it started. First of all, I would just like to remove this predefined uh, size of our scene because we're going to be creating some different scenes which would have different size. But first of all, let's go into Scene Builder. And there's a link in the description as well how to use Scene Builder with JavaFX and IntelliJ. But for now, we have our sample.fxml opened inside Scene Builder. We have our controller connected so it knows that our controller will be using a sample controller. Won't be using in this video, but just make sure it is correct, otherwise, it won't run at all. And we've got a hierarchy where we for now just have an anchor pane. So, Today we'll be talking about the panes, and the panes are basically just the places where you can put stuff. Put our controller. It's just like boxes, containers, where you can contain stuff. So, I'll just be talking about a few of them, the ones I think is most important and most used. So, first of all, we have the anchor pane, which is my favorite, because it's just a simple, simple box where you can put wherever, whatever you want, wherever you want. So, if I just wanted to put a button, for example, I could just put it everywhere. It's just based on an anchor pod spot, which is kind of like a, a coordinate system. So you can just put it wherever you want, and it's like that. Here we go. Save. And let's try running it. And we just get it like this. And we can just move it and save and so on. Let's see what else we got. So some of the other panes would be the boxes. So we've got an H box, which is our horizontal box and we got a V box which is a vertical box. So how these works is you're able to arrange stuff inside these and what's the, the useful things about these is we're able to actually have them if you have your program running on different uh, computers or you're able to resize the screen this would kind of work with resizing because an H box just keep them on a row. So let's try changing the layout a bit. For example, we now got an H box that's 200 by 100, and we could change the size of the first button to be preferred. We'd like to do preferred height, which would like to be 100 by 100. And the other one we would like to do as well, 100 by 100. So now we got them stuck inside our H, H pane. So now if we save, and if we now try running it, we just see we got them here inside our H box. And we could do the same thing with our V box, having something put in. And as you can see, when we keep putting more stuff in, it would be put vertically. Where if we put more stuff inside, not like that, I want to change the H box. Put more stuff inside our H box, it would be horizontal. So that's the basics of our H box and our V box. Then we got a border pane. which you might have guessed worked like the borders. We have like these five different spots. You can put something in the top, right, left, center, bottom. And what's also very useful with actually with all these panes, you can actually put panes inside panes. So for example, if you wanted to have say, we got a border pane and in the top, we wanted to keep some kind of, some stuff in a row. So we could create a, a let's take an H box and put it inside our top. Right now it's probably too big, but like that. And you can see the hierarchy over here. We've got an anchor pane, contains a border pane, which inside the top spot of our border pane contains an H box. Then we've got a stack pane, which actually just very simply allows you to put multiple things on top of each other. You can stack one thing there, one thing there, so you can stack them. As you can see, we've got two buttons on top of each other. Might be useful someday.
And then we have tile pane. Which, as the name suggests, is built of tiles. So when you just keep putting stuff in, it's going to go on rows and then down. So instead of our H box, H box, if you kept putting stuff inside our H box, let's put them in the H box, the H box, inside the H box, inside the H box, it would actually just make them smaller to make them fit where our tile pane would kind of like wrap around. So they go down instead. Then we have a grid pane, which as well, kind of like our our border pane, have some specific spots where you can put stuff. So now it's just based on a, based on a grid. And of course, in the settings, you can change the size of all the grids and so on and so on if you want. And that's like the basic panes. And as mentioned, you can use them inside each other, or you can just use um, controllers or other stuff inside the paints. And this is like the very basics of Scene Builder, of how to like construct the basic GUI of a program. Hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and have a very nice day.